Hey folks, let's say you have a list of tasks that you want to complete every single day. Each task is pretty short, but there's quite a lot of them. How do you handle this in your task manager? Let's talk about that today. Now, just in case you're new, my name is Peter Uckies. I teach people how to be more organized and more productive. So that's part mindset, that's part concepts, and part implementation, whether that's with specific apps or on pen and paper or however you want. And today I want to talk about handling daily tasks in a specific task manager in Things 3, which is the task manager that I recommend for most people. I also have a course titled Organize Your Life with Things 3, and actually it was a student enrolled in this course who asked a question about it. So let's pull up the question. This is what my student said. Uh, I've paraphrased this, by the way. I have a daily checklist of 20 items that I do for 10 minutes each. How can I set them up in things? Okay. Well, there's kind of three ways to do that, three options. So let's go through those three options. I will open up my own things here. So I'm inside my things three and looking at today. Okay. These are the actual things that I'm planning to do today, by the way. Um, and so how might we go about adding our list of daily tasks? There's already something in here that's a daily task for me, which is right now I'm studying Turkish. So I'm doing a, a lesson of Turkish from the Pimsleur app every day. By the way, I highly recommend Pimsleur if you want to learn a new language. I mean, this is like worlds better than something like Duolingo. Okay, so check that out if you want to learn a new language. Um, how can we go about adding our new tasks? So let's just start adding some. Okay, so some things that you might want to do every day, kind of, I'm just making up random examples, including some things that my student mentioned, um, is like cleaning up the kitchen. So clean up the kitchen. Okay, and then we might say, um, play with the cat. I don't know if you play with your cat. Is, is, that, is that a thing? <laughs> uh, so it might be meditate for 10 minutes. Uh, journal, you can say journal. Uh, for five minutes, or let's say also for 10 minutes or something like that. Um, we could maybe say, maybe you need to have some trash that you need to take out every day, so take out the trash. Uh, you can say, um, reach out to a friend. You can come up with a lot of things that you'd want to do every day, okay? I'll just stick with, what is this, six? I'll just stick with these uh, six for now. So if you want to do these things every day, uh, your first option is actually to basically, for every single task, just go right click, repeat, and you can say repeat daily, uh, every day, and like that. And so now this reach out to a friend task is actually a repeating task. And if I go to upcoming, uh, you'll see that reach out to a friend is also listed under tomorrow, okay? You'll see that my upcoming view and my calendar are very empty, by the way, for the next uh, week. So I'm working on a new uh, piece of, um, well, a live program is what it's going to be, which involves creating a bunch of new content. And when I'm in content creation mode, I always like to clear my schedule and, and not plan too many things ahead of time because creating content is really mentally taxing. Um, so this is uh, quieter than it normally is, <laughs> just in case you were noticing that. So back to today. Um, and so we can do this for all of these tasks, right? And so when you do that, what happens? Every morning when you look at your things, in today you'll see this whole list. And you can sort these things by area. So also reach out to a friend. I would say that's probably a relationships thing. So relationships, take out the trash. That's probably a home task. Um, journal and meditate, I consider those health things. Clean up the kitchen is a home task. And play with the cat. Um, home, okay. But you can see that compared with when we started this video, my today view is really looking quite full already. So this is kind of option one. It's just making every task uh, or yeah, everything that you want to do on this daily list its own task. It works, but it can feel pretty overwhelming. And I have quite a few students who tell me that this feels very overwhelming and stresses them out. So if this works for you, that's great, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, okay? So now what else can we do? Another option is to just create one task and we call it daily routine or something like that. Now, almost always when you write a task, I want you to start the task with a verb. So for example, look at all my own tasks for today. Cancel, ask, reply, go, um, make. What else do I have? Do, reach, well, th th that's one that we had here. Um, I guess I could say publish YouTube video. So always, Almost always you want to have a verb as the first word in your task name, just to make it really clear what it is. 
we're making a small exception here because what we're going to do is we're going to open up this task and we're going to use the checklist feature in things and we're just going to put all these things in the checklist okay so we're going to say meditate for 10 minutes journal for 10 minutes take out the trash clean up the kitchen play with the cat and reach out to a friend okay and i will delete the other ones so where are they these ones uh, I think that's them. There we go. So this looks a lot cleaner. And the daily routine, I don't know. We can put that wherever we like. We can put it under home or health or wherever, really. I mean, let's just put it under health. Um, and so then we can actually say repeat. Uh, let's say after completion. Well, yeah, you want to say daily um, and repeat every day. Okay, and so now when you check this one off, You'll see that tomorrow we've got the routine again, okay? So I've uh, un undone that, so it's here again. And so as you're going through your day, uh, you can just check these off whenever you do them. And so my student also pointed out or mentioned that she doesn't always complete every single one of these daily items, okay? So this is a, a good option, option two, if you will, um, if you don't necessarily get to all these things today and if that's fine. So let's say you don't get to these things, that's okay. I'm holding the option button now. I'm holding the option button and what that does is it puts an X instead of a check mark. That works for other tasks too, by the way, and things, just a tip, hold the option button, see it's an X now. Um, like I didn't do that anyway, I wanna undo that. So this is a fine way of doing things and then every day you can just check this off. Um, if you really love to keep track of what you did on a specific day and what you did not do on a specific day, for example, if you're building a new habit and you want to track your habit, if it's really um, important to you that you know which day you did it and which you didn't, Things is not a great app for that. I recommend getting a dedicated habit tracker or just doing it on paper. Pen and paper also really works. Um, Things is not a fantastic app for that. There is a logbook, but the logbook feature is really not designed for this. Um, use a separate app, okay? And if you want to learn more about developing habits, um, check out, I've uploaded a webinar to YouTube and there's also, you can watch kind of the recording of the live version of the webinar. The link is in the description of that YouTube video. So check that out. Um, okay, so this is another option. Let's just undo it so it's here again. So by basically bundling all of these sub items as in a checklist, in a task, and then setting that one to repeat. And again, in upcoming, it's gonna show up there tomorrow. Oh, let's delete this one. That's another option. So um, I said there were three options. So what's the final option, okay? Often when people ask me this, it's because they're um, afraid that they're gonna forget to do certain things. So people have this vision of an ideal week or an ideal day in their head and their ideal day includes them uh, reaching out to family and friends, uh, taking time to relax, being incredibly productive, uh, working out, you know, uh, doing something about their mental health, like meditating. And so, uh, first of all, those ideal days, you'll rarely have them, right? Like, it's, it's great when you have those, but it, uh, you know, try not to set the bar too high. Um, but also, what I often see in my students is that they put so much pressure on themselves to do this that they end up getting overwhelmed and stressed. And, and when you feel overwhelmed and stressed, it's really, really hard to actually get stuff done or to just feel good about yourself, okay? So... Um, a lot of the times this is about creating habits. For example, someone thinks, I think it'd be good to journal every day. I would probably be a better person if I journaled every day. Or I think it would be good if I meditated every day. I'd probably be a better person, feel better if I meditated every day. And those things may very well be true. I mean, you know, these days I'm meditating for 40 minutes a day and I highly recommend it. Um, but you can really stress yourself out too by putting too much pressure on yourself. So. If you're in that situation, first of all, what I would say is build on, try to build only one habit a day because we're talking about daily tasks right now. And daily tasks is kind of, if I draw a Venn diagram uh, of daily tasks, then there, and I say habits, then there's an overlap in the Venn diagram. There's some things that are both daily tasks and habits. So take out the trash. Are we gonna call that a habit or not? I don't know. And so you can think of a habit as a pattern that you just subconsciously are already exhibiting, right? So something that you do without having to think about it. You can think about it, but you don't have to. For example, would you create a task in your task manager that says, brush my teeth in the morning, and another task that says, brush my teeth in the evening? 
And would you then go ahead and drag that under your health area? Probably not, okay? Because you're probably already used to brushing your teeth after breakfast and before you go to bed at night. So because, you know, this is a habit already for you, you're already doing these things. And when there are tasks that are already a habit for you, you're already automatically doing them without having to have it in your task manager, um, don't have it in your task manager. So don't have the brush your teeth. Well, I hope you're brushing your teeth. Don't have that in your task manager. And so uh, the third option that I recommend for managing your daily tasks in your task manager or things three specifically is to look at these things and say, which of these things am I already doing? And you might find that there's actually only a few that you're not yet doing consistently. And in that case, you can keep just those few as daily tasks, but eliminate all the other ones. So that way your task manager is not a complete record of everything you're going to do today. It's just a, it's just a record or uh, an intention of the tasks that you'd like to do today that you're not already doing out of habit. Does that make sense? So what that might look like is, uh, let's say uh, we're gonna say, um, you're already cleaning up the kitchen every day. You're already taking out the trash every day, but you're gonna say journal for 10 minutes because that's a habit you're uh, trying to establish. Okay, and another one is reach out out to a friend. And so you can, uh, let's do this in relationships again. And journal for 10 minutes is a health thing. And then we can delete this. But maybe the other four things are already happening and I'm playing with the cat. And so this way you only put the tasks in here that you're not sure whether you're going to get to. Now I wanna say this is an option. I give you options, this is option three. You don't have to do it this way. If you prefer to have the daily routine task with the, with the subtasks in the checklist, that's totally fine. But for a lot of people who feel overwhelmed, who feel stressed, I would recommend doing it this way. Again, if it's something that you're trying to establish as a habit, whether daily or weekly or whatever, uh, I still recommend only building one habit at a time. Very difficult to build more than one habit at a time. It can be really stressful. Um, but uh, even when you're in that process where like the habit is starting to establish and maybe you've got multiple things going on, um, only put those things in your task manager. For example, like you don't see my tasks in here to meditate. I do my meditation two times 20 minutes, still have to do it, okay? And so it's not sitting here in my task manager because for me it's become a habit. I'm already going to do it anyway. And that way your task manager, your today view and things stays free for the big items, the more important items. So let, let me just delete these because these are not really my tasks. So my daily Pimsleur Turkish lesson, um, that's something that I kind of want to have in there because it's a little bit bigger, takes at least half an hour. Um, and also it's something that I may forget otherwise because I've only, only really been doing this for like 11 or 12 days now. So it's not really an ingrained habit yet. Um, and so I want that in there. But that way your task manager is mostly the discretionary tasks is something that you can think of, stuff that you're not necessarily doing every day. Okay, that was it. I uh, hope this was helpful. Let me know if you've got any questions about this. If you want to learn more about organizing your life or being more productive with Things 3, check out my course, Organize Your Life with Things 3. I think you'll find it very helpful. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.